Uh, it's a bit surreal being out here in L.A. right now doing press about the end of the show when we've already finished the end of the show and kind of cleaned out our dressing rooms, had that final moment to look back at the stages, which have become our home now. And then to now be talking about the end again is, is, is kind of, you know, yeah, it's just kind of weird, yeah, because I've already kind of said goodbye in my heart, you know. Well, it's also, it's like a times 10 the amount of press stuff we probably do for, for any particular season because because of that. So I think the, the, the trick is being able to answer the same questions over and over again with with a different kind of energy. So I, I feel like when I answer the questions, I, I try to think of something different than I've said before, which almost forces you to relive certain seasons and think about them again. So um, mm -hmm. in that respect, it's actually kind of nice because you revisit those times. Well, it's kind of like you're really, you're really <coughs> reevaluating how much this experience has affected your life. Yeah, you know? the meaning behind it too. Well, I'd say it's more like what we've taken away as men. As men, now, you know, I mean, I mean, we both kind of started the show as certain people and have left to different people. We both had kids while we we're here. I mean, I feel like even though I started later on, I feel like I started the show as as a boy in a way, and am leaving a man. <laughs> How corny does that sound? But it's true, you know. You know, it's why I think any kind of club, anything when you're younger is good. Whether it's like the chess club or football or something like that, like working together with a group of people to accomplish a, a common goal. And that's what the Vampire Diaries really was at the end of the day. Uh, it was a melting pot, but we all we all made it work. And Julie Pleck was the glue to all of that. Oh, it's so funny. Nothing is winding down for me. It's amping up. Um, Nikki and I are in back-to-back -back meetings today for our production company. It's incredible. I mean, getting to, to put this show to bed with these groups, this group of amazing guys and our cast and crew is really, really, really special. But, you know, it's funny because it's, it'll never die, really. It'll never go away now with Netflix and Amazon and Google Play and iTunes. Um, you have a real opportunity to let media continue to live on. And so it's just the next chapter, you know? Do you think there ever will be another chapter of the show, whether you're involved or not? Of Vampire Diaries? I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so. I think it's, you know, it's one of those things that, I think it's just that time where we, where we lay this to bed and um, everyone goes, goes home and everyone remembers Really what an incredible journey this was. But for the audience, for fans, you know, we worked very hard. Um, you don't win every episode, but there's a lot of good work in there. And again, it's always accessible just by the click of a button, you know. Are you anticipating any moment where you're like, wow, it's like really over? We, we had that when we wrapped, you know. There was that moment where you just realize, wow. and. When we wrapped um, the last scene and the last setup of everything, Nikki and I still had to get a bunch of stuff out of my room and load up the Airstream. Her and I drove our Airstream across the country um, to drive back to California, which was an amazing, amazing trip. And there was one moment where I had to adjust something on the Airstream, and I had just pulled a little bit out of the gates of our production compound in Atlanta and I had to run to the back of the Airstream and there was one moment just in the dark her and I were the last two people to walk off the stage no one was there not a single soul um, and I remember it was all quiet and still and I looked at the lights of the Airstream and I I just thought and I looked back at our stages and I thought oh wow that's it here we go. And drove off into the night and headed back to California.